uh, to do the transfer from within the company code you need to go to the transfer within the company code then the system will pop up with this screen so I'm going to transfer from the furniture uh, chairs to the asset and uh, I entered 3012 is my um, asset and also the document date is same and posting date so what is this dates so let me explain a bit on the, I'm transferring from 1005 so here um, actually so if you see here um, you can do this click here and then the first one so here this is a document date which will be same as your invoice date so the posting date which will be when this posting should be done and the value date the asset value date is the where the depreciation is going to be calculated by the system so um, um, uh, from this date only the system is going to do the depreciation so in this scenario you have a uh, two cases one is actually you can transfer to the existing asset and another one you can transfer to the new asset so let's say and um, and the the new asset is you can create while transferring itself for that specific asset class so what i'm going to show you is uh, the first one is a new asset since this 1005 is already created i am not going to use this but in my scenario i have explained as this asset but when i say new asset means i am going to use the option the, here in the radio button i'm going to use a new asset option so uh, let's do now so this is a the screen where we have here in the transaction data so now when you go to the additional details so here is where you can you can leave this blank or uh, sometimes system will determine and this will be defaultly selected by the system and you can maintain the reference and allocation details so um, here these are used for the document header data here or plan item date sorry the, the, the header data here so and uh, the partial transfer here so in the case of partial transfer so this asset is belongs to prior year acquisition or from current year acquisitions so um, usually the default it will select when you're transferring you are going to transfer entire the asset so if you want to transfer let's say if this asset is having um, uh, 10,000 you want to transfer only 5,000 so you just need to enter the 5,000 so if the asset is having a, a, a full 100% you want to transfer you can give 100% and in this case uh, so you can enter some notes uh, if you want to maintain some notes here so uh, these are the screens for transferring the asset so now I'm going to use new asset so to use the new asset I'm going to choose the asset class which is building and building eight so the cost center so now I'm, I'm I'm going to choose the cost center so here the cost center um, you should choose the cost center yeah I choose uh, anything here from here so let's choose um, what I'm going to choose here is um, yeah so yeah anything can be chosen here so let's say technical service okay so I choose the cost center and asset class and uh, master data you can go and if you want to enter some more details so you can enter from here directly yeah you want to have additional details also yes you can enter those details so at this moment I entered only uh, this information click OK so now the internal number so you see this is generated now so the system is going to generate this number so now I click on simulate press enter 
So you can see now what is happening now if you see in the system here. So this is an accumulated depreciation. Okay, which is going to be transferred to this new asset. So um, when you see this is an accumulated depreciation and the other one is a cost. So when you're transferring asset from one class to another class, so entire depreciation should be transferred as well. So the system is doing that perfectly for you. Now, so after you do this transfer, I mean, um, uh, check all these details is correct. Then click on save. So what happened? So you can see now the system said that the system did two things for you. So one is actually, if you see here, two things for you, one minute, um, just, um, yeah. So one is, here is create, created the document while creating, it is created the asset. So the first step is then uh, it's trying to create the document and from while creating identified, okay, the asset must be created. So the number is generated for asset as well. So now let's go and check the asset. So to do check the asset, you can go to 1008. Yeah, so now what happens, you can see. So this is where the system is showing the depreciation, the transfer from one asset to another asset and also the cost is transferred from one asset to another asset. So you can check all these details before running the depreciation for the next month. Then, yeah, so you can see. So what happens in this case here is when you look into uh, the asset which you have transferred from AW01N, J012, so if you see the transactions, so you can see now this is a different transaction type is posted by the system. So the transaction type is posted is actually to transfer the depreciation also. So you can see now the depreciation, no, no more depreciation will be calculated with effect from May from for this asset. So now this is how the system is going to post the transactions. So now I'm going to show you on how to transfer to the existing asset. To do this, double click and so I choose maybe it's 015 and then same details 015 to so let me choose uh, which asset having the value before I do 101 yeah, 1001 is actually having 1000, so I'm going to transfer it to here. So 3015 having how much? So I'm not going to transfer everything. I'm just going to transfer 99 from this asset to the new asset. So now I'm going to transfer to here, 101, yes. I entered, so I just say one. So now in here, I'm not entering anything. I'm going to give here 99. So when I transfer partially, so what the system is doing here. Okay, so here, since I am doing partially, this asset to be tricky, right? So you see now, when I click on simulate, enter system showing, what is this message? Retirement of old asset data not possible. It's not because the, the, the retirement we are doing here. It's because this asset, which is actually acquired from the current year. So now you click try to simulate. Yeah. 
see? So you should be smart enough to check these details and uh, before you are doing, otherwise uh, you will get errors, uh, these kind of errors. So you should be smart enough for doing this because uh, when you're doing these transactions, uh, you must make sure if you're doing full, yeah, no issues at all. But if you're doing partial, yes, there will be some, um, what you call, uh, uh, yeah, there will be some uh, things um, will be happen. And uh, yeah, so now um, you can click simulate, enter, save it. Okay, so now we have posted the document. So you wanna check the document. Yes, you can check from the asset directly. And now I'm going to show you on two things here. One is why the system is showing as a minus and, and, and what the system is going to do for this asset. So because you have done the transfer from one asset to another asset, the depreciation will be taken out as a value adjustment and then the depreciation will be posted into the different asset here, so which is 100, is already post, trying to post by the system. So when you run the depreciation next month, which is on June, six, So when you run the depreciation, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to filter out only 1008, 1008, and 3012. So, oops, I think um, one minute, let me just quickly show you here yeah this is 1008 yes the 35 it's trying to pose and uh, the accumulated depreciation is actually will be reversed so this is the new depreciation the system is calculating and uh, one more thing uh, maybe I just try to do the re the repeat, nothing, yeah, so sometimes when you do the previous postings, yes, you need to do check and the repeat run mode. So now, now what the system is going to do here is, uh, let me explain, uh, the system is actually not reversing out this is accumulated depreciation which will be transferred from one asset to another asset so this is a balance sheet account so yeah so this should be reflected correctly under under correct asset classes because of the accounting standards it must be uh, reflected correctly so the adjustment will be done by the system if you look into the postings um, by the system here um, so, so there, there is no P and L impact uh, will be done unless if there is a scrap we are doing or or if there is an unrealized gain or loss for these. Sorry, in the in the case of foreign currency, but here you see, and this is an accumulated depreciation account for the asset class belongs to the different one, and this is an accumulated depreciation account for the another account. So this is how the system is posting the transactions. So yeah, hope um, you understand. And I try to detail more here in the case of transfer. Yeah, thank you guys.